children this week i will start a new story it is a panchatantra story moral story the old crane and the crab hope you know crane and the crab meaning of crane and crab crane is a bird who live near the lake or pond or river near the water and crab it is also live both in the water and in the nearby side of river also so probably they live in the same habitat now i'm starting the story the old crane and the crab there was a crane who lived near a lake he was very quick to catch fish when he was young but many years passed and he became old he was now unable to move quickly his eyesight blurred his action was slow and he felt pain in the neck while trying to catch fish the fish were too quick to come into his beak you know uh, kids beak you can see the beak long beak the old crane sighed deeply he remembered the days when he was young then he used to move fast he did not feel any pain in his back but those days were gone now he had to go without food for many days One day the crane came out with a clever plan. He sat by the lake with a sad and depressed look. A fish raised his head and asked, "Why are you so sad? Is there any problem?" "I am not sad for my own reason, my friend," said the crane. "I am sad because I am worried about you all." Who oh, I don't believe you said the crab who was also there with the fish fish was asking but there was a crab crabs are supposed to be intelligent so he said i don't believe you you eat the fish and you eat the crabs we are your food no crane should steer for us If we come close to you you will simply catch us i know you will eat us in no time please believe me said the crane i love you i want to see you alive but you all will be dead in a month or two the crab was clever he did not believe the crane but the small fish began to weep and so there there gathered all the fish of the pond a big fish asked the crane how they would be killed and the crane began to tell his story to them he said that when he was sitting on a tree some persons were talking about the lake they were the king's officers they said that the king wanted to fill the lake he wanted to build a park in a beautiful place these all are the idea of the crane the lake was in a beautiful place so the king ordered his men to fill the lake with stones and earth so the fish would be caught and killed when the fish and the crabs heard the story they all begin to weep the clever crab tried to tell them that it was a false story but none of them listened to him Now the crane was happy that his plan was working so he said i want to help you do you want to be transported by me transported means to take one place to another we will want to be said the fish but where will you take us to and how i will take you in my beak and fly and drop you in the lake in the other forest said the wicked crane but the clever crab was doubtful and so he asked are you sure that there is a lake in the other forest 
I have never heard of any other lake in that area. Shut up! cried all the fish and so the clever crab stopped speaking. The crane began his work. I will make a number of trips every day, said the crane. I am sure I will be able to save you all. The crane took some fish in his beak and flew away. He landed on a stone and ate up the fish. He went back to take some more fish. The fish scrambled to go first. The crab was then advising them that there was no other lake. So the crane became, became angry and took the crab in his beak and flew away. First I will kill you, said the crane. The crane landed on the stone. The crab crawled quickly to the crane's snake and killed him with his claws. The crab went back and told the fish all about. They thanked him. Children see how the intelligent and smart crab shaped the life of all the fishes from the greediness of the crane. Bye for now. No work, only listen the story carefully.